astronomical telescope now the astronomical telescope is used to magnify distant astronomical objects like stars uh, planets moons etc okay now here in an astronomical telescope we are take, going to take two lenses one is an objective and another one is an eyepiece now the objective is of long focal length and it is having much larger aperture so here i am going to take an objective which is having a long focal length and the aperture of the objective is what larger so this i am good as calling it as what objective that is the lens which is nearer to that of the object now i am going to consider this as a star okay now rays from the star are passing through that of the objective so here the rays are from infinity the rays are from what infinity okay so now here there are two parallel rays which are coming from the star one is passing through the optical center and another is passing through another point in the objective and these two are meeting at a point here here you will be getting an image so here you will be getting a what image this i mark it as b dash a dash and the height of the image i am going to take it as what h okay now this image is formed on the focal point of the objective it is formed on the what focal point of the objective so this is the optical center of the objective and this is the focal point of the objective so the distance between the optical center and the focal point so this distance we call it as the focal length of objective we call it as what the focal length of what objective now i am going to take another lens here that is the eyepiece this is your eyepiece okay now the ray from this image which is passing through the four optical center of the eyepiece will pass like this okay this is one ray and the another ray here this ray if i extend this this will fall at this point in the eyepiece and it will go like this and another ray here this ray this ray will be in like this so here you can view it through our eyes okay so when the light from the distant objective uh, distant object enter into that of the objective you get a real image which is formed on the tube now this point is also the focal point here this distance is the focal length of eyepiece this distance is what the focal length of what eyepiece okay so the eyepiece the eyepiece this is the eyepiece this magnifies the image producing a final inverted image that is if you extend these images these lines here okay you will be getting an image at infinity so these rays will go parallel like this and you will be getting an image at what infinity okay so this is how we are getting the image in the telescope okay so you will be getting the um, image of the real thing okay now you are going to find out the magnification of astronomical telescope here the ordinary method of finding the magnification is not not possible that is the lateral magnification is not possible so we are going for the angular magnification we are going for what angular magnification now let us take let beta be the angle suspended by the image okay so the let beta be the angle made by the image so this angle i am going to take it as beta okay and this angle i am going to take it as what alpha if this angle is alpha this angle is also what alpha similarly this angle is beta okay this angle is what beta okay so now i am going to take this is the angle made by the incident ray and this is the angle made by that is the object this is the angle made by the image okay so what is angular magnification angular magnification is m is equal to angle subtended by image by angle subtended by by object so what is that angle subtended by image that is beta beta by alpha okay now i am going to take this triangle that is i am going to the, take the triangle p a dash b dash okay triangle p 
a dash b dash from that i'm going to take tan alpha so what is tan alpha tan alpha is a dash b dash by p b dash so it is a dash b dash by p b dash what is a dash b dash a dash b dash is h p b dash is what f o so what i can write it is h by f o now i am going to take the next triangle this my point i am going to mark it as r okay so here i am going to take the triangle a dash b dash r so triangle a dash b dash r so what is tan beta tan beta is equal to a dash b dash by b dash r so a dash b dash by b dash r so i am writing it as a dash b dash by b dash r what is a dash b dash a dash b dash is i again h what is your b dash r b dash there is focal length of ip so that is what h by f e okay now for small angles okay tan alpha is approximated as alpha and tan beta is approximated as beta is approximated as what beta so i can write alpha is equal to h by f z f not and beta is equal to h by f e so e magnification m is equal to beta is h by f e by h by f o so that is h and h will get, get cancel so you will be getting it as f o by f e so that is focal length of objective by focal length of ip now what is the length of the telescope so the length of the telescope so the length of the telescope is nothing with is nothing but the distance between the two optical centers of the objectives and the eyepiece so what is the total distance between the uh, optical center of the objective and the optical center of uh, eyepiece that is f o plus f e that is nothing but the length of the tube or the length of the telescope so i can write the length of the telescope is l is equal to f o plus f e okay so we have found out the magnification of the astronomical telescope